I want you to hear from someone who um, is experiencing pressure that is beyond what he can endure. Uh, can Mike Anthony come out? What happened with you a few years ago? Um, 2014, I suffered an aortic aneurysm, um, which um, brought me to the, to the door, death's door. Um, I was on my way to work, and I, um, without going through the whole story, I had this great pain and ended up driving myself to the hospital, and um, I was in and out. <laughs> then I, last time I was out, I woke up, and there was a priest standing there, and, and I realized the seriousness of it, that I was dying. So um, he asked me if I made my peace with God, and I said, yeah, I'm a Christian, and that's when I got on the phone, and I called my brother, and I think I called you, yeah. and they airlifted me to Ann Arbor, um, where they immediately opened me up and did surgery, which wasn't the end, because even after they did surgery and I went into recovery, um, everything started busting loose again, and they couldn't stop the bleeding, so they gave me a, a 60, 40 chance of living that day. And I remember seeing you, and that was a tough time. Very, very. Um, as time went on, did you, were you, did you start recovering? Talk about the recovering process. Uh, I started recovering, um, but as I was recovering, and it was a speedy recovery, but during the recovery, I suffered um, congestive heart failure, yeah. and I also suffered a stroke on the left side of my brain. Um, so. how, did you, how did you feel about God during that time? Did you feel like he's giving you more than you can bear? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. But as things started, to some degree, recovering, you started having some light uh, because you weren't able to work. No, not at all. And so you, financially, it was just becoming very, very tough. And you had a victory. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, it was pretty devastating, but it took three years um, because they denied me the first time um, Social Security disability. But the prayers of the church... Um, Life Church and a lot of other people. Um, I got a lawyer and everything, and um, and to make it short, I won my case. Hmm. I won that case with Social Security. So, yeah. so financially, I'm 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 pretty okay right now. Yeah. Thank God for that. Yeah. Now, the reason why I'm bringing it up like this <clears throat> is you had something that was devastating. Then you had some light. But then what happened? Oh, you mean a recent thing right. that just happened? My, the passing of my mom, oh my God. <laughs> it's definitely the power and strength of God um, that I'm sitting here even now. And I thank God because of you and Life Church, because you were there, I'm here. Um, uh, your prayers and the love of the people of God, it was just overwhelming and extraordinary because I was telling someone today, if it wasn't, you know, for the prayers of the saints, it wasn't for Life Church, it wasn't for God. Honestly, I do not know where I would be mentally. I would probably be crazy and trying to use drugs, probably some of everything to kill how I was feeling. Hmm. Because this is, this is the most extraordinary feeling I've ever felt in my life. And many of you have had the, the experience. And my mom has been in the hospital for the past week, and she's uh, in rehab right now. Um, but it seems like things have been ramping up. Uh, the older we get, the, the, we begin to experience those losses, yes. and they break us down. Because I know you called me, and, and, and the pain I heard, and we both were crying on that um, phone because it was sudden. Right. Talk about what happened. Well, um, I was, um, the last two days with my mother, um, <laughs> um, I, we rushed, they rushed her to the hospital and she was beckoning for me to come. And um, we, I was at rehearsal, and so I got to the hospital in ER, and I remember looking at my mom. She had her mask on, and she couldn't breathe. And so she reached her hand out to me. I grabbed her hand, and, and I just felt then that this was probably going to be the last time I see my mother. 
And so I wasn't quite sure, but I stayed those two nights with her. And the last night I was with her, um, I was able to look in her eyes one more time. And she went into cardiac arrest that night. And um, well, that early, early Monday morning, she went into cardiac arrest. And, and that was it. She was, she was gone. Um, but it was so all of a sudden because um, they made it seem as if everything, the vitals and everything was looking good. And then all of a sudden everything just plummeted. It just went down and, and she was gone. And you are here. You are continuing, which sometimes blows my mind because I can't tell you what I would, experience, what I, what I would go through. But talk to us of, about really quickly how you are standing oh my today. God. <laughs> uh, prayer, just continuing to function in what seems to be so abnormal. Because, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like, if you will, you know how you get sick and taste buds in your mouth are just weird. That's how the taste buds in life right now are for me. It's just weird. It's just, and I'm functioning because of Life Church. I'm functioning because the prayers of Life Church, people bringing food, people calling, people giving money. And it's just been the most awesome thing. For, so that's what, keep, that, that's what keeps me strengthened. Mm. It, it keeps me smiling. And yeah. It keeps me wanting to keep going. Yeah. Well, I think that you have a message for our people as well as me in song. Yes. So if you could uh, share it with us. Sure will. Through, 
now you just stand you just stand you stand don't you dare give up stand through the storm through the rain through the hurt stand through the pain don't you bow don't you be you can you just stand